Okay. I have stuff. Oh no, I can hear myself two times. Okay, now I can't. <laughs> okay. Um, do I have everything ready? Uh, I think that's it. That's it. Hell yeah. Okay, let's go and not actually see Tama yet. Cut and <laughs> revealing robes, huh? I wouldn't really call it a robe. Is it really a robe? It's a, it's a, it's like a weird, um, kimono, isn't it? <laughs> oh, look, it just starts right at day zero. Cool. Awesome crust. I always awaken very abruptly. I don't even think I dream. I suddenly find myself waking to, walking to school. My headache worsens day by day until it finally buzzes in my head like an alarm. That day, in potent numbness, I wake up twice as fast as normal. Wait, so the moon cell is simulating, like, all the area between their, between their house and the school, too, isn't it? I walk to the schoolyard. It's clear and cloudless, 7.30 a.m. But what season is it? When I try to recall what season it is, I start to get so dizzy, I almost pass out. True, what if it just, like, creates memories of walking to school? <laughs> I may wind up back in bed if I let go and faint. For some time, I've been embracing a rush of useless information. The normal stuff you'd see at a school, like the hustle and bustle of my classmates by the entrance. It hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. When I push the thought, my field of vision fizzles. Today, again today, there's a crowd of students milling in front of the school gate, and more are being directed that way. As to what's going on, there's a boy in a black uniform in front of the school gate. He's my friend, as I recall. He's Issei Ryudo, as I recall. Hi, Pandora. Yeah. I'm streaming. <laughs> oh, did it do that in Fate Stay Night a lot? I don't remember. I mean, it sounds like something he would do. I remember this from the first time. When Issei notices me looking at him, he pushes through the crowd. Wait, wait a second. So, so this is the first time I've thought about it, but wait, so Hakuna actually remembers the first time you go through the prologue? the audio not working? Oh, the game audio is gone or something? Do you hear any game audio? <laughs> there should be game audio at this point, right? No game audio. Okay. Um, let's go out of full screen. Hey, look, it's the time okay. Um... Um, really? My streaming so software says there's no noise right now. So... There might be something going on over here. Let's just um, save the state. And then reload it. Um... Reset, and then load it. No, still no sound. That's weird. Streaming is hard. Okay, let's close that. 
I have all this stuff here. Uh huh. This is definitely the real version of the game, guys. I'm not, I didn't steal this or anything. No, it's still. Let's try uh, playing a thing on YouTube right quick and see if it captures that. Very slow. <laughs> Do you hear that? Hi, Saber. Yeah, you hear that? Okay. I'll go a little bit farther then and see. Which route do you think? <laughs> um, I'll go a little bit farther to see if there's some sound or something, but, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, so good morning. Lovely weather we're having, don't you think? Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> hmm, why do you look so surprised? We announced at last week's assembly that this month the student council would strictly enforce school rules. There's no way that this is, this is, has no sound. <laughs> he runs through his spiel. As if this is the first time he'd ever disclosed the information. Uh, this is weird. <laughs> I don't know what's going. It was capturing the sound earlier. It's. I think the the. It's not the capture that's a, the problem. It's the audio in the emulator that's like being shit right now. Maybe I'll switch to the other. Hmm, wrong one. To the uh, 32. 32-bit one. Let's see if that one works. Yep, there it is. <laughs> it's, wow, this is taking a long time to load. Maybe it, oh, there you go. Why did it open twice? <laughs> Let's see if this one works. And then uh, load state. <laughs> yeah, there's still no audio. This is weird. Uh. Where's the audio settings anyways? Um, more settings? It's really weird that it's not like... Okay, enable sound, yeah. D sound. Okay, back, and then reset. Really? Really? That's so weird. There's literally not a single noise. There's like, there's no music. There's no like UI sounds. That's just so weird. Holy shit. Okay, I'm going to switch back to the 64 bit so that I guess he's just, like, so annoying, you don't want to hear him. <laughs> no offense to any Issei fans. Okay, we'll just go through this part then, and then we'll see what happens. I'm seized by a headache. I'm so dizzy, I feel like I'm being forcibly locked out of my consciousness. First, let me check your student ID. I shouldn't need to remind you, but it should be on you at all times. My login ID is being checked. It's so obvious now. 
I answer clearly to the question that usually makes me go dizzy. Oh, there's sound! What? <laughs> okay, should I go with cannon noise? A cannon name? Or, or, or my name? Cannon noise. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't? That's funny. I guess because it's like, um, those Kishinami is in, is in, is Japanese, right? <laughs> they would be able to fit more characters in there. RP, I mean, I'm reading it in my normal voice. Let's go with Hakuno. No, let's go with Cannon Noise. <laughs> No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> um, we'll do Hakuna. Oh yeah, I get that. It's just, um, I don't think I want to RP this because I will get too into it. <laughs> I don't need to mama calling me by name by my name. Um we'll just go like Kishi. F <laughs> We're just Kishi Nam. <laughs> Is that the right spelling? Yeah. Oh, I still have this bar up there. Let's get that up. Um, and then... Oh. Uh... Okay. <laughs> Same one from Animal Crossing. I just had this sudden an idea of going by Animal Animal, but I think I'm not going to do that. Okay, so a funny thing. So I have two monitors, and I have the game on my left monitor. I have the stream on my right monitor, so I can have the chat and all that stuff. Uh, I changed, I actually changed my title recently, so next time I visit, it's gonna update. <laughs> but anyway, so I have those two monitors, and then, and then I have my tablet and it's, it's got the streaming software open, so I see the game three times at once. <laughs> I feel nauseous, and I know it has nothing to do with what I ate for breakfast this morning. I feel nauseous of the world because of the world around me. It's repeating itself over and over, and that's making me sick. Now for the uniform inspection. Collar, check. Pant hems, check. And your socks, check. See, this time, this time, yeah, I did skip it in East Side Line. Sorry. <laughs> um, this time, I mean, to be fair, he said it the last time, too. But yeah, I should I missed it. Um, but anyways, this time he can actually see the socks, so it's fine for him to comment on them. I want him to get out of my way. I want this repetition to stop. I push him aside and go forward. I'm not nice about it either. 
Next is the contents of your bag. Which bag? <laughs> what bag? Notebooks, textbooks, pencil box, not even a whiff of contraband. Your nails are evenly cut and your haircut is sensible. Indeed, quite remarkable. You are a model Tsukimihara Academy student. He keeps on talking loudly, even though he's facing no one. I have a headache. I'm shivering. I know one thing for sure. This is wrong. This is not the school I know. It can't be. I have to go. I have to hurry and wake up. Or else it will be too late. But who am I awakening for? There's better places to take a nap than on the ground, you know. That's completely unrelated. <laughs> My anxiety and headaches are only getting worse. Afternoon arrives while I desperately try to find a way to escape this bizarre situation. As is now the norm, my vision is overlaid with some kind of unnatural distortion. A distortion that doesn't get properly scaled to the, to the correct resolution. Uneasiness, futility, emptiness. I want someone to explain to me the true nature behind all of these feelings. There must be a key somewhere, something that will have the answers to all of my questions. So do they all say the same things here? Man, where is everyone? It's like a ghost town around here. Things are getting weird. I don't think they have any new dialogue. That Leo guy, where in the heck did he go? I never thought he'd be the type to ditch class. Yeah, it's all the same text. Better check upstairs, so just to make sure. It's not like events. Yeah, she's still here. Hey lady, let's have tea so together sometime. Okay. Yeah, it is way shorter. I seriously thought you like you had to go through the first day and then like it would skip the rest and then go to the, to the last day. But I guess it just skips right to the last day. Um, I haven't played this game before, but I have watched um, the Nero route and the Tamama route. Um, and then I skipped Archer route because, because I'm gay. Probably. I mean, it has a speed up thing, so I can like, sp I can like grind and speed through it. But I'm not gonna like stream the grinding. Probably. The moment I step foot on the first floor, my feelings of unease intensify. There's a, stu a student wearing a red uniform. Red? Leo, the new transfer student. The instant I lay eyes on him, I immediately feel intimidated and humiliated. Yeah, I think that's probably, I remember reading a thing about where like in Chinese they don't have separate words for red and orange or something. So they just call it all red. And I don't know if that happens in Japanese as well. Who knows? Or maybe it's just a, a mistake. <laughs> There's also someone trailing behind him. It looks like one of my classmates. The more I think, the more I realize that Leo isn't the only anomaly I've come across while on campus. There are other things that seem off as well. It's becoming clearer now. There are people who shouldn't exist. Students that mysteriously vanish. The fabric of reality is coming unraveled. Oh, do I have... I can't even tell. Do I have flux on still? <laughs> I do. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but but let's turn it off and just make it will lag everything for a second there. Yeah, I can see. Okay. <laughs> Flux is turned off now. What is the truth? Oh, I missed it. Don't turn away now. What defines the world you know? Don't turn away now. There is a reason why you're here. Come, do not allow yourself to close your eyes to the truth. I can't believe it, guys. This is a conspiracy theory game. <laughs> I mean, I guess it really is, isn't it? <laughs> all, all the Fate series kind of is all that already. 
Leo and one of the guys from my class are talking in the hallway up ahead. Even Hakuno doesn't know the guy's name. The attention to detail is, is oh wait, the attention to detail is quite impressive. Even the surrounding air is surprisingly substantial. If that is the case, this world is in some ways more real than the real world it represents. <laughs> How about you guys? What are your thoughts on this? You guys? For a moment it feels as if he is including me in his comment. However, Leo begins speaking to my classmate, seemingly oblivious to my presence. Greetings. I believe this is the first we've had an actual conversation. Leo gives me a smile with no hostility. However, I have the suspicion that there is something malicious behind a smile. Attending school wasn't half bad. I've never had the opportunity to go to one before now. In that respect, this has been quite an interesting experience. However, the time for fun has come to an end. I did not, I did not come here to play at being a student. <laughs> no matter how enjoyable the detour, eventually one must return to their appointed path. And for me, the time to do so has arrived. With those final words, Leo turns his back on me. Farewell. No, that's not quite right. I don't think farewell would be accurate in this situation. <laughs> Fair poorly. For reasons I cannot explain, I have the distinct feeling that we will see each other again. So I guess I should use the more congenial see you later. Well, it's time for me to move on. I wish you the best of luck. Leo said as much, even going so far as to look in my direction. For some inexplicable reason, I'm not surprised that Leo knew I was spying on him. I am trying to get things straightened out in my mind when Leo suddenly disappears. It's funny, they didn't actually like have him clip through the wall. He actually, they actually went through the effort of making him vanish rather than just clip through the wall. <laughs> The student who is following him also disappears after touching the same spot on the wall. At the same moment he vanishes, my vision distorts and the shock threatens to overwhelm me. F. What is going on here? I wonder if this place is the source of my unease. What happens if I just turn around and leave now? <laughs> I don't think there's anything that happens for that. Like him, I place my hand on the wall, expecting to be drawn in. I see now that the way to the truth to... Uh, yeah? I see now that the way to the truth to why I have these feelings begins right here. I don't want to know. <laughs> the atmosphere changes. There's a doorway an entrance where the concrete wall used to be. It's not something of this world. There's no doubt this story leads to some place unfathomable. I bid farewell to the false world and take my first step toward the truth. Playing this on a Switch controller when it has like the, the button prompts are all, you know, PSP controller is kind of funny, <laughs> but oh well. An entrance to another world. Beyond this door, the previous statement perf perfectly describes the view before me. Walking behind me is my strange silent attendant. It is to be my sword and shield for what lies ahead. A disembodied voice suddenly confirms my thoughts. Uh, I gotta do this voice. Although I have yet to learn anything, I need to do something besides stand here. Uh, this voice, right? No, no, I don't have to do it yet. At the very least, there might be some clues to this bizarre experience up ahead. 
I have no choice but to head into the darkness with only this strange doll as protection. No key or any voice yet. Uh, this walking speed is too slow. I can't do like RP walk. <laughs> What a thrill. Oh, okay. <laughs> I probably could have sung like a whole bunch of that song if I like if I knew more of it. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, that was a difficult dungeon. Snake Eater? Yeah, it's really fun. No longer a typical school campus. The floors and walls, the air, even the aura are slightly off. Yeah, it looks like it was made as simply as possible so that they wouldn't have to spend too much effort on designing it. It wouldn't surprise me to see a monster pop out from the shadows. It's very much like a dungeon here. Yes, because dungeons look like this. <laughs> oh, dang. Welcome, potential master. With a shocking suddenness, a voice begins speaking. It sounds like it's coming from the empty sky above. If you are looking for answers, you must search. You must reach the goal. Now, please step forward. That wasn't really even a, an, an actual attempt at that voice. <laughs> oh, he's he's given a full tutorial. Uh, I played um, Resetier, which is a dungeon crawler kind of. <laughs> that's that's it. <laughs> I played the first, like, chapter of this game. <laughs> the illuminated cube in front of you is called an item folder. Inside of it is a farewell present of sorts for those about to face the coming trial. Touch it to open it. Thanks for the tutorial. I'm just assuming it's that voice. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't use this. How do I? Okay. R and L to rotate the camera. Before you is an enemy program. It is programmed to attack on sight. Touching it will initiate a battle. Kirai is nice enough to give the tutorials, huh? But you won't actually fight as you are too fragile. The effigy given to you will fight in your stead. Yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's, that's a mood. And like, I'm playing... You know, the Tamamo route, which is harder because she's weaker at the beginning of the game. <laughs> so... Yes, this is my servant. Art reference doll. <laughs> <laughs> the effigy given to you will fight in your stead. If your effigy is ever destroyed in battle, you will no longer be shielded from harm. To put it bluntly, you will die. So be very careful in battle. But there's no need to be afraid. For now. Just do what I say, and you'll be perfectly safe for the time being. First off, why don't I explain a little bit about battles? It's just Rochambeau. <laughs> First of all, there are three basic commands that you can issue in battle. Attack, guard, and break. Each turn in battle is composed of six actions. And you'll need to tell your effigy what your strategy is to be. This is what they tried to do in order to recreate what, you know, something that seems like it would be the combat system for a master and servant pair. And like, I mean, 
Guess they tried. <laughs> um, I think they probably, it would be better to go with like a Pokemon style thing. <laughs> Battles are divided into turns with six commands being issued each turn. Once confirmed, they'll be executed all at once. The enemy before you should be quite easy to defeat. That is, it will only perform break. Break, which is focused solely on power. Shouldn't be much of a problem against attack. Now, use the attack command to destroy the, pr the program. Use the directional buttons to choose a command and then press X to confirm your selection. Enter six commands using the up directional button and then press X to annihilate the enemy. Oh, these are supposed to be in his voice. Oh, well. Can you explain it again? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, the, the Rochambeau part is the, it's the shitty part. Uh... It would probably just be normal MMO stuff. <laughs> I kind of doubt that they would actually like make real. What? What about Watcher? So, how did it go? What? Is that the name of the enemy? <laughs> One thing to know is that in each turn, you'll have to plan a series of six moves that will defeat your foe. The goal is still far ahead. If you must bask in the afterglow of your victory, do so while moving forward. Why, what happens if I stay here? You can overcome break by using the attack command. It's going to teach me each of these moves one at a time. <laughs> Oh look, here comes another program. You seem nervous. Perhaps you've, you're anxious about fighting in another battle. Do not be alarmed. That enemy isn't strong enough to harm you. It is programmed to you only use attack. While attack is a potent action, using guard will allow you to defend and then counterattack. Guard can be used to reduce the damage caused by an enemy attack. But I trust you know this. Guard will not only block an opponent's attack command, but will also unleash a devastating counterattack. Now that you know how this battle will unfold, use the appropriate command to defeat the enemy program. Thinking about it too, like, like the way that they, um, this is us, like the Rochambeau part, like how it shows, um, the enemy's attack pattern, um, the more you know about it, it's a pretty good, um, it's a fairly good implementation of like the concept of gathering information about your enemy, which is like really important in Fate Stay Night. Um, and Fate Apocrypha, I guess. So, like, that's interesting. It's kind of hard to figure out how exactly to do that with a different, different, um, a different combat system. Basically, designing combat systems for a, a master servant thing can be a little difficult, especially if you want to capture as much of Fate Stay Night's, like, atmosphere as, as possible. Yes, that's exactly right. As you may have already noticed, performing three successful actions in a row results in a chain. By performing multiple chain attacks, you can perform a devastating follow-up attack on your opponent. If you land three strikes in a row, you will perform an extra attack, which is a special additional attack.
While doing multiple chain attacks in the heat of battle may be difficult, the results make it worth the effort. Yeah, and that's, I think that's because part of the game is um, trying to discover the identity of the enemy servant, right? And obviously, if you already have that information <laughs> beforehand, then um, then then you would already know how to fight them. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, no, shit, no, this, this system is shit. I'm just saying, like, I understand how they arrived at their, at their, uh, decisions. Um, and just, like, I'm trying, I, because I'm trying to design my own fate games at some point, so, like, I want to try and figure out how to make your own combat system that's better than this. That still has some of that vibe of discovering the opponent's identity so it's difficult uh while doing multiple chain attacks in the heat of battle may be difficult difficult the results make it worth the effort <laughs> i can't really say for sure that anything is better than this but you know a lot of things are better than this <laughs> now please proceed I keep trying to use the second stick for the camera. But the PSP doesn't have a second stick. You should be used to the fundamentals of battle at this point. But I'll walk you through this one last time. This program will only use guard and do nothing in battle but defend against harm. But no matter how stout one's defense may be, it will be for naught against the break command. Yeah, no, it's it's definitely easier to do that. You can shatter the enemy's guard command by using break. And in fact, you, you should actually come up with the game system first, but in this case, they're kind of like, they would lose a lot of the fate feel if they don't have that. Or at least maybe that's what they were thinking because clearly we kind of abandoned that at this point. <laughs> Remember, always use the appropriate command for any given situation, if you happen to know what it is. You have been through three battles and have used the attack, guard, and break commands. Someone as intuitive and observant as you must have already noticed this. Each of the three attacks balances each other out, creating a situation where no attack is dominant. The three battle commands, sword, axe, and lance, all have immutable relationships with one another. It's attack, break, and guard, but I'm, you know. <laughs> what I just covered is the absolute basics of battle and the minimum info you'll need to know. Once you master the basics, all that's left is to test yourself in battle and gain valuable experience. Yeah, they should have had like a Pokemon battle system. Now, please proceed. Now, would have been more interesting to like i guess more work too but would have been more interesting like to play through the game again with different servants because they would have different moves <laughs> they want to just have different stats and different mps 
I haven't played Extella. I have both Extellas. Um, I haven't played them yet. I'm not really um, looking forward to the gameplay of it. It just seems too overwhelming or something. I don't know. But I should play it. <laughs> That's kind of a JRPG trope at this point, I think. But yeah, it's still annoying. All of the enemy programs you've faced so far only used one move, which won't happen in a real fight. Like you, your enemies will choose their attack, their actions based on the situation and general observation. Actually, it's they have several different trends that they pick randomly from, but their actions will be very difficult for you to predict at first. As you face the same enemy multiple times, you will be able to read their tendencies and patterns accurately. When you first enter a battle, your opponent's moves will be mostly hidden from you. Being able to guess your opponent's moves with only a limited amount of info is the key to victory. Personally, I think that the best genre for fate is either like a Pokemon battle system or a, uh, a what's it called a 3d fighting game like um, like I mean like a Muso right except except it's more focused on one-on-one -on -one. <laughs> so being able to cast your opponent's moves with only a limited amount of info is the key to victory I just read that really fast. <laughs> Although considering your lack of fighting experience, I may be expecting far too much from you. But anyway, please try your best. Um... Ow. Ow. <laughs> no bloodshed. Seems to really like break a lot. Dead. Good job. All right then, please proceed to the final room. Which way? Oh, no, it's only one way. It's like the doorway in Dark Souls games. <laughs> oh, F. I made it. At the end of a very long road, after going through a door that suddenly appeared in the wall. The oppressive air of this place, where the spirits of the dead still linger. Here's my goal. That's what I thought. Further in, it appears as if someone had collapsed. When I look into his face, it's the student who is following Leo just now. I call out to him, but get no reply. I shake him in an attempt to wake him up when I notice he is stone cold. Wait, so did she call him by his name? <laughs> I go as pale as the corpse before me, and I can no longer think coherently. All I can do is stare in bewilderment. Uh, it is at this moment. The fallen effigy lying next to the male student comes to its feet with a clatter. 
After having to fight several enemy programs to get here, it's obvious that this thing is an enemy as well. Without warning, it suddenly twists around and comes right at me. Oh god, it's suddenly coming towards me! So... slowly. <laughs> hmm... You can't actually win this fight, and it doesn't really matter, right? So... Yeah... Oof! Oof! Ow! Ow! Ah, uh, ow! <laughs> ow! Ah, uh, cheater! Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm dead! That's the end of the game, guys. It's a really short game. We didn't even see any servants. Huh. You seem to be lacking as well. I can hear the sound of a distant voice. The time has come. With your inevitable loss, I will consider this round of preliminaries to be over. Farewell. I pray you'll find peace in your annihilation. Oh shit. I'm not prepared to do the next fight. I am not prepared for it. Okay, okay, okay. That is the voice of voices' final words to me. I don't have the power to protest. All I can do is stare at the floor. I think I'm going to die here. Suddenly, at the edge of my now hazy vision, a number of brown-colored lumps seem to rise from the ground. Actually, it might be that I just noticed them now. They may have been there from the beginning, for all I know. Those lumps are the bodies of an untold number of fallen Tsukimihara's academy students. All with the same hairstyles. This guy before me wasn't the only one to fall. All of the others made it here and died, unable to do anything. And in a very short while, I suppose I'll become one of them. Maybe I should just close my eyes now. I did all that I could, so maybe it'd be better for it to end now. Just let it end now. <laughs> I refuse to give up. I refuse to give up. I summon all of my strength in an attempt to get back on my feet. However, as I try to move, an unbearably intense pain shoots through my entire body. If that's how it's going to be... No, this is... Please just let it end now. I still refuse to give up. <laughs> oh, it's a time. I don't want it to end like this. I cannot ignore the intense pain coursing through my body. I've reached a point where I can no longer see stars as my eyes feel like they're on fire. I feel like all five of my senses are being ripped from my body. I'm afraid. I'm afraid of the pain. Here it starts. 
the repetition, I'm afraid of losing my senses. I'm afraid of becoming a corpse. And the most terrifying thing, disappearing without a trace for any reason at all. It's not right that I disappear here. My consciousness, shot through with waves of distortion, screams out against the injustice of it all. What was the purpose of suffering through those headaches just to fade away here and now? What were they all for if I just fade away here and now? I have to stand up. It's okay if I'm scared. It's okay if I'm in pain. I have to rise above all of that because I have had to fight of my own volition and on my own terms. I need to take some laxatives. Uh. Okay, okay. Uh, uh. Hey, you soul type person over there. Wait just a second. Really, just one second. I have absolutely no idea of who you are or where you're from. Uh, I was supposed to let her go. But your lamentation, your perseverance, while other gods choose to ignore you. Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> Your cries have reached my ears. <laughs> I keep forgetting to let her talk first. And with the god Ukama, Uka no Mitama as my witness, I say it's too early for this one to go on to the realm of the dead. I mean, I'm sure this absolutely charming soul is a wonderful person. Please, can I have it? Yeah, she says fuck. <laughs> Tamamo says fuck. Tamamo says fuck. <laughs> Anyways. It's just the same Ojo Sama voice I give to like the Ajosama is in Fire Emblem, but whatever. <laughs> the sound of breaking glass is accompanied by a light cutting through the gloom. I manage to, to move my weary body and aching head to see what's move happening. I didn't notice it before, but something was slowly rising up from the floor in the middle of the room. That form... Its appearance isn't much different from that of a human being, but something was different, clearly so. Yeah. She doesn't say anything when she drops dead either. <laughs> the power emanating from it transcended that of any human or of any enemy I faced in getting here. An awesome power that seems as if it vaporized anyone it touched swirls within my body, almost against my will. If ah oh, fuck <laughs> again, even if you weren't exactly clear why you need one, I brought you a vulpine wife from the imperial tomb. Uh, you seem a little apprehensive. Um, you are my master, right? No. <laughs> Yay! Contract established. I look forward to fighting by your side, my dear master. To be honest, I, the mighty ta- I mean, I hope that I could be a servant to someone like you. Uh, 
Don't apologize for yourself already. <laughs> I should say to myself. <laughs> oh, my abilities might be a tad limited, so you might not be happy with me, Master. But I'll try my best. <laughs> Saber is banned. She takes a hold of my hand and helps me to my feet. We didn't bother animating with it, though. From the hand she had grabbed comes a sudden warmth and then a sharp pain like I've been cut by a knife. On the back of my hand, as though tattooed, is a strange symbol that looks like some kind of crest. Totally confused, I alternate between staring at the mark on my hand and the person standing before me. And then, a noise behind me brings me back to my senses. Turning around, I see that the effigy from before is still there, now in a fighting stance. I wince uncontrollably, recalling my previous defeat at its hands. Master, if it isn't any trouble, would you please leave this to me? I will obliterate that worthless wooden toy and erase any trace of its existence from this world. We're not going to translate that or anything. Oh, look! We know what that's going to do now. Let's tell her to break and then attack and then... <laughs> Oh, I was saying it right anyways. <laughs> Casters really do cast, don't they? It's funny to me that uh, that Tamama Cat uses more magic than... Well, I guess Tamama uses magic in FGO now. battered effigy stops moving. There's no way it'll, it'll still function after being effectively torn apart. Thanks to you, my dear master, I was able to win while using only 5% of my power, just like Shaggy. She continues to talk. However, the sound of her voice doesn't quite reach my ears. The heat coming from the mark on my hand grew in intensity during the fight, and the resulting pain has become unbearable and burns through my consciousness. The mark impr imprinted on your hand is your command seal. It is proof that you hold dominion over a servant. You can use it to give three orders that must be obeyed. Think of them as disposable strengthening spells. Yeah, no, I have a I have a better battle system than this game does. <laughs> not that it's hard. I mean it is, but it's not. It is also proof of your participation in the Holy Grail War. If you lose it for some reason, you will die. Once again I hear that voice. I somehow manage to ignore the pain and listen to what it has to say. I can understand your confusion, but before I forget, congratulations. You have con endured much to make it here. Now rest for a while. You've achieved your first goal. It was an incredibly clumsy effort to say the least, but that's what made it all the more entertaining. 
I've had this duty for a long time, but this is the first time I've seen a master as helpless as you. Nevertheless, be proud of your achievement. Your quick thinking came as a result of nerves and rashness. Thinking about it, the voice sounds like that of a 30-year-old man. I can tell, and it's really irritatingly smug. For some reason, I can see the owner of the voice as a priest, dressed in a somber cassock. I can tell all this. Oh, you are curious about my identity. I am honored, but I am an insignificant. I added an end. I am merely a part of the system. I am just a guide, tasked with giving a standard message and given the personality of a prior participant. I am no more than words, no more than the mountain you just conquered, no more than a record of the past. A record? So if I raise any objections to this voice, does it mean I won't receive any answers in return? Exactly. Even though I just re responded to you just now. Well, this is unexpected. You have received a commendation. Something about you having a light. I have no clue who would say such a thing about me. But that short phrase stuck my, struck my heart because... For some unknown reason, I knew the words were sincere. And as for I expect good things from you, it seems like more of a command than an encouragement. Now, let us commence your baptism. You have proven yourself worthy of the honor. For most, the monotony of everyday life continues on without end. Your decision to look beyond the accepted and progress means you have earned the right to exist. Wow. Fascist? <laughs> However, you have but taken the first step. Be jubilant, young knight, for the Holy Grail War begins now. I have no idea what he's talking about. The Holy Grail War? The right to exist? That is correct. An object of great power once existed in the world. One that could grant any desire. People called it the Holy Grail and fought endlessly in an attempt to gain sole possession of it. We'll see if, like, maybe he'll say it later. Maybe. Or maybe be jubilant is. Who knows? This war, the system you find yourself in now, is an evolution of those struggles. You know, um, what's it called? So you know how the word Yorokobe is in, like, the start, the beginning of the, the, the Evangelion song? So I immediately think of him every time I listen to the Evangelion theme. So, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> It just makes it impossible to sing that first part. It's just, I get to that part and it just becomes the next word is shonen, not whatever it actually is. <laughs> this war, this system you find yourself in now is an evolution of those struggles. You stand at the entrance of a deadly struggle where many magi will perish in pursuit of the Holy Grail. Listen, magi. Had I not bestowed upon the earth desire, you'd be merely you'd be merely saints capable of committing sin. Now fight to the death. The fiery throne of heaven will only receive those with the strongest of desires. The voice reverberates through this hidden chapel, as if it were the voice of a god. Kill. Magi? Holy Grail that grants wishes? These questions and more swear all inside my head and almost seem to carve themselves into my flesh. In war, a weapon is needed. That is your servant. There, the spear that pierces, the shield that protects. A legendary soul whose pur purpose is to clear your way to the Grail. That is the one who stands beside you. I 
I look over at the young woman with the foxtail, who returns my look with a glowing smile. She is my servant. It seems you have decided, and with that decision as payment, I now open the gates to the Holy Grail War. The marks on my hand, my command seal, once again begin to become excruciatingly painful. It's over. I can't take it anymore. Dead. Everything just started and we're already dead. It's already over. I reach the limits of my endurance and my mind starts to shut down. As I lose consciousness, I can vaguely hear the voice's final words. Now let the Holy Grail War begin. No matter the era, deciding who is worthy through battle is the divine providence of man. Magi who have been invited here by the moon, show me your true strength. Wow, the second prologue is done. So like, um, if, if you had died there, of the mire of the everyday sloughs off, a war between magi, the wheel of fate turns, weak one, temper your sword, I don't have a sword. And defend the value of your life. First week, the first selection. Combatants remaining, 128. Now, the thing I was going to say is, like, if you die there, then who is Shinji going to fight in week one? Does he just, like, get a, just take a break? <laughs> <laughs> Go to week two immediately. Because they, they say you're the last one, right? So that would mean that there would be only 127 people. <laughs> Here I am thinking about the pointless things. The sky burns. Houses collapse into ruin. People fall to the ground. Roads come to an end. The conflict started here. With this, the world that was will be restored. It is here that I alone had survived. Don't remember, never forget. Oblivion is salvation and sin. Never forget. I was born from perdition. This must be a nightmare. This had to be somewhere. It could be anywhere. A toddler? <laughs> he just keeps getting younger every time we talk about his age. <laughs> yeah, no, go go away, focus assist. No! Okay. <laughs> I guess that's the problem with uh, having full screen on my controller and not on the keyboard. These events that occurred in the true memories of childhood. Oh no, yeah, I do that too. My brother is like 16 this year. So he's 15 right now and I still call him a baby. <laughs> and every time, every time I'm like, uh, like every time I'm referring to his age, I'm like, what, you're like, what? Are, how old are you? You're like 12? <laughs> so. A torrent of blood flows, and a voice resonating with bitter resentment can be heard. Yeah, you killed a child. Boss, you killed a child. Amazing, that's why you're the best. <laughs> L lives fade away without a thought. Friends, family, strangers, all I'm gone. Soldiers with guns, families trying to hold together. <laughs> I 
A grotesque struggle to the last until a gentle peace descends as death comes to claim them. I cannot accept all I have seen. The question of why never left me. Even with the divide between conflict and catastrophe, why did such a tragedy occur? No more importantly, no, more importantly, why has this world been turned into a hell on earth? Why is this hell I'm walking into? It's a good video. <laughs> a gentle rain begins to fall. All things once living fade away, leaving only one behind. Amidst the helplessness and despair, their soul's last feelings are of rage and regret. The rain wets their cheeks as their eyes close one last time, dying forgotten and alone. Seeing this, I struggle to rise from the depths of death. I will not accept what I have been shown. If I can live again, I will definitely but there are no second chances, and before long the rain has cleansed the scorched earth. Am I reading this in the right voice? <laughs> oh well. Never forget. I was born from perdition. What that means. Somehow, please don't forget it. No, no, don't, don't do that. Yeah, that's... You'll, you'll get uh, alcohol poisoning. <laughs> it seems I saw some sort of twisted, distorted dream. There's birds in the moon. With that, I wake up in the nurse's office. I must have collapsed and was brought here. So was that world, the effigy that blocked my way and that servant, all a dream as well? No, this nurse's office is far different from the one I knew. It's similar, but off somehow. I don't remember being able to go into the nurse's office in the prologue, so it's impossible to compare the two. <laughs> oh. Ah, good morning, my dear master. I'm glad to see you finally decided to wake up. I was asleep. You don't decide to wake up. The overwhelming, unforgettable presence of someone suddenly appears beside my bed. I thought I was dreaming, but the ears and tail are real. There's no way to mistake her for human. Oh, that's rude. Okay, okay. But after seeing her incredible powers in the fight against the effigy, I don't care what she is. Yeah, yeah, it's late now. <laughs> I'm going to get to a safe point and then I'm going to quit. I don't care what she is. Uh, or I could just, you know, I'm emulating this. I can just, like, do this. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. It's fun to play. And, and the words. <laughs> okay. See ya. Good night. <laughs> Prologue 2 is done. Words are fun. Yeah. Okay. Bye.